Hello, welcome back to the Ball Games 4K YouTube channel, and this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings, and we generally talk a lot of bollocks about tabletop gaming in general. And in this video, we're going to be continuing our run through of our top 100 board games of all time. This is number 50 down to 41. And obviously when you get down to your top 100 board games, they're all going to be fantastic. These are games that we have played or have owned. Obviously we haven't played all the games under the sun. So if your favorite games aren't on this list, tell us what they are in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you after this. Board games 4K. So number 50 on this list is a game that has seen a number, a variety of different iterations over the years. It is Railways of the World. And I think this board game first came out as a game called Steam, I think, or maybe there was a game before that, but it's essentially the same game as that. And what it sees you doing, it sees you trying to build railway routes through different maps. And it started off with a map of the Eastern United States, and now you've got railways of Great Britain, you've got railways of Antarctica even. And what you'll be, what you'll be doing, you'll basically be buying track, laying a track, you'll have an events deck that will sort of try and mess the game up a little bit. And then you'll be trying to send your trains through different routes gaining money for every tile that they travel through and we really love this game it is a beast of a game on the table it is an epic game it comes in a massive box and now there's so many expansions for this it really is one of those awesome massive games that we really do enjoy it's it's got a lot of strategic depth as well and uh, yeah that's railways as well that's our number 50. so number 49 on this list is a sort of cooperative game that is also a competitive game for works best with eight players it's captain sonar and this sees you take control of a role operating a submarine and one person will take the role the captain will decide which way the submarine moves you'll have somebody in control of the weapons you'll have somebody in control of the repairs and all that sort of thing and it sort of reminds us it's like an extension of the game space cadets which is the same sort of thing where you'll be taking control of a, a role on a on a spaceship bridge and you've got these you've got these barriers in front of you that separate you from the other side of the table with the other team and uh, you could stop the game and then you can fire weapons and all that sort of stuff and it really is tense it's a fantastic experience doesn't really work with lower player count than eight players but if you've got eight players we recommend you play captain sonar it's one of the best games for larger groups and that's our number 49 so number 48 on this list is a game that a lot of people have got as their number one it's a it's a cooperative game one of the most famous cooperative games that is out there's pandemic you'll be taking control of different roles of this uh, disease prevention department in the united states and you'll be traveling around the world trying to contain different types of diseases trying to cure different types of diseases and exterminate different types of diseases and all the time you've got this deck that you will be shuffling cards back in and when these cards come back out that's where the disease will spread so you you're constantly sort of battling against yourself whilst we do like this game we do find it to be a little bit too difficult there's a there's obviously a difficulty scale you can scale back the difficulty on this game and uh, the fact, i think the fact that it's not higher up on the list is because we have played this one too Death, but it's, it's still a seminal game in the board gaming industry. Changed a lot of things, opened the door to a lot more cooperative games of this type, and that's Pandemic. So number 47 on this list is a worker placement game that is sort of changed changed the changed things up a little bit for us. It's anachrony, and essentially the premise of this game is that there's going to be this cataclysmic event that will happen and at a certain point in the game, and you are trying to not prevent it, but you're trying to sort of uh, mitigate the effects of it, I, I suppose. And one of the interesting things about this game is that you can borrow from the future because it's sort of like a, a, a sci-fi sort of game you can borrow from the future and when you get to that point in the, in the future then you've got to pay back what you've borrowed so it's sort of like i've got a, a sort of an elaborate loan system in this the game doesn't stop when you when you have this sort of cataclysmic event it carries on and it's whilst it's just a basic worker placement game that sort of loan system does elevate this above a lot of other worker placement games it comes uh, you've got the option of uh, buying the the set with the wonderful miniatures where you can pop the little tokens in and all that sort of stuff but you, you don't really need to do that so uh, yeah that's anachrony number 46 on this list is a game that utilizes 
about four rondelles, I think, it's shipyard. And what you'll be doing in this game, you'll be using this, this rondelle to take actions like uh, hiring crew to build different parts of your ship. And eventually, when the time comes, when your ship's complete and you think it's it's all the component parts in the right place, you can go and sail it off through this blue ribbon contest to, to see if your ship is the best of all the ships built in a shipyard. And this is a game by Vladimir Sushi, the same guy that done Pulsar 2849, and I think he done the last will or uh, that, that sort of thing. Shipyard, whilst it looks complicated, once you get under the skin of it, it actually isn't that bad. But it is one of the best Rondell games. Not the best Rondell game, but one of the best Rondell games that you can play today. So number 45 on this list is a game that Change the landscape in board gaming industry. It is on my side, and the reason this we feel this changed the way that people look at games is because it was one of the first games that utilised the power of Kickstarter effectively, and it spawned all sorts of, of sequels. You got uh, Zombicide Black Play, you got the Green Horde, Invader, and they've just done a re reboot as well of the first edition. But we're not going to bother with all that. We got too much to play of Zombicide. It changed the landscape insofar as board game production was concerned not so far not so far as the mechanics were concerned but that is some so number 44 on this list is a delightful sort of puzzle sort of game i suppose it's it's uh it's dixit and this, this game you've got a deck of cards with loads of sort of psychedelic sort of surrealist artwork on it right and you'll be choosing a card and sort of saying something a word or a phrase or making a noise or an action or something and then everybody else will choose a card from their hand which they think best matches what you've just said and then you'll mix the cards up display them out and then everyone will choose which card they think is your card and you'll get points according to whether or not they chose the right card whether they chose somebody chose their card and all that sort of stuff and it is a delightful game it's got a bundle of expansions that you can work through it opened the door to other games like Mysterium, so it's sort of laid the groundwork for those sort of games. And we love Dixit, everybody loves Dixit, and you should love it too. So number 43 on this list is a game that was first released in 1977. It's still going strong today. It's Cosmic Encounter. It's uh, it's actually quite a basic game when you get down to it. But the thing is, is that you, every player is given an alien card that has a, a, a mad game-breaking ability. So Cosmic Encounter, without the aliens, Cosmic Encounter would have been just this bog-standard uh, negotiation game. But you throw into the mix these crazy alien characters and the game blows up in your face and it's a fantastic game we've had so many laughs with cosmic encounter it's still going strong today and we urge you to play this one if you're going to play any game on assist well not all the games on assist but we urge you to play cosmic encounter because it is undoubtedly a classic so number 42 on this list is another game which utilises a rondelle, it's Imperial, and what you'll be doing, you'll be taking on the role of these international investors that will be investing in countries in order to bolster their sort of war machine in a sense, and then you'll be holding influence in these countries, trying to, trying to encourage them to engage in warfare and industrial expansion so you can maximize the profits of your investments it's sort of a semi-complicated game in a sense we've done a run through this if you want to see uh, this played with us with six players we've done a run through that but it's one of um matt gert's best games and one of his most original games and that is imperial so number 41 on this list is a game that we've done a, a playthrough of and a re review of recently it's called kingsburg and what you'll be doing in this one you've got a set of courtly personalities you'll be rolling the dice and each courtly personality has a number associated with them and you'll be placing your dice on the board and then taking the action associated with that courtly personality and you've got this threat in the background you've got these hordes of uh, monsters that will threats that will appear at certain times so you've got to prepare your military for that kingsburg has recently got a second edition we've played this the first edition with the expansion we think it's a wonderful game it's a little bit dated in a sense but we still love kingsburg and that's our number one. So there you go, that's the next 10 games that we think are the best games of all time. We're going to continue with our list until we hit number one on Christmas Day. And uh, yeah, so if you're new here, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a comment down below. And if you made it this far, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.